What should we do next, Holmes? Locked. Just be careful with the plants during your inspection. A very good day to you, my friend. Is Inspector Lestrade in? I'm sorry, sir, but the inspector's absent at the moment. Mr. Holmes? Locked. This is where I keep my post. That is not the one I need.
Here it is. Here it is. The Divine Syndicate is not a supplier to Kew Gardens. Besides, there is no address here. Here it is. Someone should take Toby for a walk. Have you found something interesting? Oh dear, Toby. I wasn't aware that you were Watson's new literary agent. Are you aware of the Divine Syndicate? The Divine what? Is this a joke? No, I am quite serious. What a ridiculous name. Anyway, I have never heard of this syndicate. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation.
locked. Locked. Who is Miss Margaret White? Ah, oh, she is the young lady who studies with me. She visits here sometimes to help out with the greenhouses. In fact, she should be here today. She wanted to work at the seed house. That's the small greenhouse across from the large glass house. We noticed that a part of the colonial collection has been cleared. Ah, oh, at the moment I'm just dealing with the storage room. I don't know much about the other rooms. I imagine that your relationship with your father may have been a strained one. Yes. I cannot say that he was a kind man, for he never listened to me at all. He forced me to work here. But now, after his death, I've been pondering it over. Perhaps he wasn't so wrong about me after all. I have to follow his path, and I have to manage Kew Gardens, and I can do it. I can be as good as any other who works here. Would you please tell us about Martin Hamish, the Deputy Director? Well, I have to tell you that Mr. Hamish is not and has never been the Deputy Director of Kew Gardens. My father would not have tolerated it. Indeed? Well, that is most interesting. He told us that he was. Yes, because he believes that the management should be passed down to him now that my father is dead. But in actual fact, Mr. Hamish only has the honour of being the garden's longest-serving employee. In fact, if we are to think logically at all should be me who takes over the management of Kew Gardens. Do you not have a good relationship with Mr. Hamish? I suppose so. But we have very little in common. Mr. Hamish loves his plants and Kew Gardens, and I cannot say that I share his passion. I see. And how was his relationship with your father? Oh, he hated my father. It was obvious. He would be furious whenever my father boasted of Kew Gardens in the newspapers or at conferences. He was convinced that my father was stealing all of the credit for himself. But my father treated Mr. Hamish in the same way as he treated anyone. Dismissively. With indifference. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Divine Syndicate? No, I cannot say that I have. Do you hold the keys to all of these locked doors? Yes, you can have them. But I cannot give you the keys to the cloakroom. The employee's effects are private. I am sure you understand. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon.
a glasses case. It is empty. A thesis, written by Martin Hamish. This area serves as Martin Hamish's office. This poster is for an exhibition that Martin Hamish was directing, but it had nothing to do with Kew Gardens. This certificate belongs to Martin Hamish. He won a horticultural competition. It is a bust of Montague Dunn. I am curious if the marble that we found will fit this place. Here it is. The marble fragment that we found in the colonial collection room is what they have in common. The seeds of plant species are stored here. Look, Holmes, this charming lady must be Miss White. She's entering the seed house. Open. Good day to you, miss. You have some very beautiful plants here. 
Why, thank you, sir. And good day to you, too. But... Oh, I, I do beg your pardon. My name is Dr. John Watson. This is my good friend, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. I am honored to make your acquaintance, gentlemen. My name is Margaret White. Excuse me, but are you Sherlock Holmes, the great detective? Yes, I am he. What a pleasure to see you here at Kew Gardens. Are you working on a case? Yes, a theft of plants that took place here a few days ago after their most recent exhibition. Oh, oh yes, of course. I quite forgot about that. Oh, it's quite understandable that you might forget about the theft of the plants, miss, after the tragedy that took place here. Yes, the director was a truly good man. It is such a terrible misfortune. Would you happen to know why part of the colonial collection was cleared? No, I have never been there. Do you work here? Part time only. I am a biology student at the London University. I attend the same classes as the son of Mr. Montague Dunn. That is how I found my chance to work here for part of my thesis, you see. It is a great honor. How well did you know Mr. Montague Dunn? He was a master, a great leader. I saw him almost as a spiritual father. He had an exceptional nature? Oh yes, indeed. He was always so active and so optimistic and very nice to me. Although he could behave harshly towards his son. Why so? He loved his son dearly and wanted the very best for him. It made him extremely demanding. Albert, who is naturally shy, suffered because of it. The Divine Syndicate. Does that name mean anything to you, by any chance? Not at all. But it is a very pretty name. Most of the doors in Kew Gardens are locked. Do you have a key to this room? Oh, yes. <laughs> Albert gave me a set of duplicate keys. He agreed I might carry out my studies without disturbing him. It is only temporary. Thank you, miss. None of the three people who work at Kew Gardens know why half of the colonial collection was cleared. So, someone is lying. It is obvious. Kew Gardens is such an exciting place. Wouldn't you agree? A book about ships. Nothing at all to do with plants. These leather gloves are new and of good quality. They do not appear to have been used. Materials for college study. They belong to Albert. This place serves as Albert's office. From here, we are unable to see the interior of the Colonial Collection Room.
What should we do next, Holmes? These young plants must be delicate if they are kept in the nursery. There was a bottle here. It left behind a trace of the substance that pervaded the laboratory. Gold dust? Good heavens. What's it doing here? The gold is almost immune to chemical attacks, so it may be a valuable auxiliary for various experiments. But why would anyone perform such experiments in a botanical garden? Several drops of the substance were spilled. Someone carried this bottle around. Several drops of the substance were spilled. Someone carried this bottle around. The bottle is no longer here, but it is possible to detect a faint scent. We need a good nose. 